Sewer Rat Scratch. Hey kids, Coach Sewer Rat here. I just got finished training with a couple rats over at the gym and they had some questions talking about tournament prep. We got a couple fresh young guys trying to get their feet wet. It's they entering their first tournament. So if you're thinking about registering for your first tournament, you had a couple questions, some some nervous jitters about registering, this video is for you. And if you're watching, Nick, this video is for you because you're the one who asked me about it. All right, so it's your first tournament. You're nervous. You think about maybe cutting weight. Which rank do I register in? First off, always ask your coaches. Don't take some advice from some rat on YouTube. Your coach is the one who's going to know you best. However, I got some pointers for you, so listen close. Okay, so for me personally, the best results I've had in tournaments are ones where I don't put too much pressure on myself. I suggest you think about it, you maybe do the same thing, right? Think of this tournament like practice and even future tournaments. It's just practice. You're trying to hit the practice moves that you hit in practice on a live opponent. So just practice them. Okay, we're talking about practice. All right, this ain't the Olympic trials. Ain't no cheddar, no cheese on the line. You get that later at home, okay? So, there's no pressure to perform. Don't get performance anxiety. Even though everybody will be watching. And somebody's probably going to be taping. So, you might want to do a little think poo Get a little strategy in line, okay? So, um, you know, we want to relax. But we want to win. But a win can look differently for everybody okay so just the fact that you signed up you're already a winner in coach sewer rats book you beat everybody who's still sleeping everybody who didn't sign up for whatever reason you're on the mats baby your name is on the brackets you're a rat on the mat you're gonna do it you're gonna scratch you're gonna show them what you've been practicing you're gonna invite all your friends to watch you scratch that's what i'm talking about baby all right so the main thing, we're just trying to stay safe here, okay? You know, uh, if you need a pole guard, if you need a tap early, there ain't no shame in that, baby. You're doing the dang thing. We're trying to do this tomorrow. We're trying to do it the next day and next week and heck, maybe even later after the tournament just to have some fun and work on some stuff that we could have done a little bit better. Okay, so no pressure, we staying safe, uh, but, but, but with that in mind, you know, here's a couple tips because I'm invested in your success, I want you to succeed, so here are some tips to succeed at your first tournament, okay? First off, we're going to be working some combos, some, some rag scrap grip, wow, bam, you hit them with the whammy bammy the ouchie waza straight to the trash compactor just google it baby okay so we want to have a clear path to success you know you want to go in with a goal in mind couple takedowns couple sweeps little transitions couple scratches poke them in the eye and they'll do that <laughs> okay so couple couple takedowns i like to suggest Especially if you just start, and we're going to do a double leg. But when you do it, you want to pass the guard, okay? My jiu-jitsu career has taught me you don't want to work hard for the takedown, and then have to work even harder to pass the guard. It's not any fun, and I don't like it. I like fun. Winning's fun. Takedowns are fun. They can be fun, okay? Even pulling guard can be fun, because we got arm bars from guard. You know what that means? Yeah, that's right. You get the cheese. Arm bar city, baby. Let's do it. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Okay? So we're either going to be doing double legs to the passes. We're going to be pulling guard to the arm bars. We got hip bump sweeps. Ask your coaches. Or just Google it. Okay? Everything's on YouTube including this video share it with your friends like subscribe give me a thumbs up okay so we got a couple other alternatives here from standing still we're still on standing that's 
that's a, a big part of the tournament scenario a lot of people don't think about because everybody practices from their knees when they're in the practice room so you don't know what to do with your hands you don't know what grips to go for hit those with some options okay a couple other safe dynamic alternatives we're, we're talking rolling kimuras baby we're talking about the sacrifice throws. We're talking about scratching, okay? You know what it is. Ask your coaches. You, you're going you're gonna to need to take some time at the beginning of practice, at the end of practice, at home, uh, on your stuffed animals or your dogs. You know, just, just take some time. Put in that work. You're going to feel all the more confident knowing you practiced your skills and you know what you're doing. Nothing's worse than feeling like a fish out of water, a rat without cheese, so to speak. Okay? You, you got to be confident. You got to go with what you know. Okay? And if you don't know nothing, you ain't going to go nowhere except home. And nobody wants to go home without the metal strapped around their dome. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Just think about it. Just think. It's practice. It's practice. Okay? So, besides just a couple takedown options... Think about scenarios you get stuck in and training, right? If you get stuck in side control. We want to know some side control escapes, okay? So practice one or two of them. Start chaining them together because, spoiler alert, there's no perfect move in jiu-jitsu. There's no one-size-fits-all answer to every situation. You're going to have to have one or two options. Chain them together. And don't stop working them. That's how. <coughs> that's how. <laughs> that's how. You be successful in jiu-jitsu. You have options. You work them as set up to your other options. And you don't stop scratching. Okay. Alright. So we got our takedown options. You want to have an option from every position. Top turtle, what to do, escapes from side control, exactly. So we know what we're going to be doing. We're not going to be caught off guard, okay? Above all, just relax. Think, think about your training. Do what you've been trained to do. Listen for your coach. He's going to be sitting in the corner. He's going to be yelling at you. Posture. Take a deep breath here. Scratch. Okay? Relax. Let, let your techniques work for you. Do what you've been trained to do. Go with what you know. Try to hit some moves you hit in practice. That's, that's where you're going to have success. If you're tense, you're going to gas out early. Your friends are going to laugh at you. And you're going to end up in somebody else's highlight video. It's great. <laughs> okay? So just relax. Keep your posture. And use your techniques as they're as intended. Otherwise, bad things can happen. You can end up frustrated and, you know, as it's happened to me and thousands of other people and, and thousands of other people in the future who haven't seen this video. And they don't know to relax. They don't know to have fun. They don't know to go with what they know. Okay? Share this video with them. Help a friend. Help me help you. I'm invested in your success. I want you to do good. Okay, and uh, I'll ask a little thumbs up. Leave me a little comment. Tell me if this was helpful. Let me know if you have any other growing pains. We're all just trying to share this journey, help everybody succeed. Uh, you know, try to have some fun. And if you wanna, if you wanna help support me in another way, if you wanna get you some fly, some fly Coach Sewer Rat merch, you can follow me on Official Sewer Rat on Instagram. Hit me in. In the DMs, I'll link you up, hook you up. Got some rat noses for the rat pack. I mean the sewer rat nation. Patent pending. Okay? We're going to do good. You just got to relax. Go with what your training is. And, and have a clear path to success. Work those takedowns. Hit a little foot sweep to neon belly. Baseball choke. Do it all up. It's all doable. Okay? I believe in you. Keep scratching. Thank you.